Hello, peace upon us every time. Today we are here with a great person. We are the students of Camera Media Center and we are blessed to have an opportunity to interact with Dr. T.P. Shashikuma, former ISRO scientist and a director of UGC. Sir, we are grateful to have you here. I am Shahzada Kabir. I am Nurfa. I am Shada and we are pleased to have you, sir. Welcome. Namaskar. And no, sir, I am Dr. T.P.S. <laughs> so, sir, in your generation, there might not be many people that have dreamed such big dreams like you. So, what do you think made you dream such an extraordinary dream to become an ISRO scientist? Actually, it was not my choice. I have a book which is written, Life Made Simple, mm. out of... Now you have Facebook, right? We had a earlier social media which is called Orkut. So me and my students discussions of normal Orkut social media is made into a book. In which the last cover I wrote, flow like a river, grow like a tree. The f river doesn't know where is it flowing. So my life is that. I never knew that I am going to be a scientist. But yes, Department of Space was introduced to me when I was in Hong Kong for a conference while I was doing my PhD. So he told Department of Space is great. So I am sure your awareness of things makes you to dream. Nobody can dream something which you have not seen, something which you have not heard. Okay, so that gave me a small spark. Department of Space is good. And I thought, why not? So I applied. I got it. What I studied is fluid mechanics. What I did was optics, image processing. So once we join, what we study doesn't matter. So I don't think what happens when people say that you dream to become a doctor, study biology, right? So if you look at what I studied is not what I am doing. So you get into somewhere, then they will train you what you want to be. Today, most of the B.Tech people, either mechanical, civil, electronics, electrical, ultimately they all do coding, software job, maximum job is there. Only 2% goes to code. You can imagine 80, 98 people go for some other job, right? So it is not with the dream you study something and reach there. You occupy somewhere then find what is that you have studied, where that experience can be used. I don't drive the same vehicle throughout my life. But once I drive, I got an experience. So another vehicle also I can drive at the same time. Okay. So I'm sure the great man who made people to think, dream, Abdul Kalam. He was 18 years in space department. Not even 20 years. I served 20 years. And I took my volunteer time. Abdul Kalam after 18 years went to defense. But what experience he had in space, he used in defense. And that gave him a big advantage of, instead of putting satellite, he put a missile and then put thrown like this instead of throwing up. That's only the difference. So I think your dream should be, let me serve people, what best I can do, how much skill which I have got, where or all I can use it. That should be the method. Yeah, that way, every day we keep refining our dreams. It's not one dream and chasing it. Keep refining our dreams. That's what I mean. Today's generation is a social media addicted one. So how can we convert this generation into an ambitious, goals of people? What are the plans to twist them to this uh, type of strong, uh, aimful generation? Uh, I remember one of the best colleges, Sacred Hearts College, where Prime Minister also spoke, right, the recently. I was called there as a guest to speak against social media. But just now I told I published a book from the social media. So how can I speak against it? So I told no, I am not going to speak against it because I am committed for social media activities. If you look at how people come to know about me who are in Argentina, Tunisia, different parts of the world, it's all social media. What generally I say, how do you stop your addiction? Social media, cinema, everything is good. But I keep saying, you invest your time instead of spending time. Half an hour you are in a media you must be able to write two paragraphs. How did that benefit you? So you will not go to wasteful. Why people say it's bad? Because 98% waste, only 2% good. 
understood so how do you invest your time where this two percent is used utilized maximum plenty of things which are quite useful open sources of learning so i keep saying everything is good but what do you see in youtube is most essential i have myself contributed probably 6000 videos in that around 1000 2000 will be only for students of your age but i'm sure you must not never reached me right because i don't advertise so what is essential you look for your every day morning you decide today my technical term is this and i am going to find a useful video for i am sure you will see thousands of blogs thousands of useful activities i don't know you are all learning physics right yes, sir. have you ever seen love for physics yes sir yes which who's newton no there is an mit professor who gives a beautiful lecture i am sure most of your teachers also would not have seen so what happens is you are not using that for a good purpose levin there is a great great professor who is an mit professor you can also listen to him so i keep saying instead of going to some other sites once you follow that you know what is the how intelligent is the social media two times you look at something tomorrow when you log in immediately they will show you these are all the sites of your interest they assess you in your login they will send you see this see this so you keep on seeing it so you make a trend of looking at useful ones tomorrow onwards you will become a learner so i believe that you should have this habit of learning instead of wasting time invest your time that's what i keep saying so i was telling life l i f e learning is an investment for future earning so invest your time to learn more and more social media is one of the best i am a person who have a book on now many people talk about online teaching multimedia i authored a book which is called adaptive learning e learning pedagogies and practices how to make video like this and publish it in 2007 that time no book was there mine was the first book on adaptive learning how can you get adapted to learning how the media can publish things and you can become an international teacher international student the other day i went to a college a school teacher in um, jharkhand she is a principal of a nursery lkg ukg because she says because that is paid i have got a power saying that i am a principal then i googled before going because i know the principal who spoke to me this is the number this is the name i found she is a wonderful teacher of physics online immediately what i told her is this is not a place for you because you will use your physics how did i know online multimedia youtube so i studied about her before going and meeting so last week she resigned and went for a plus 1 plus 2 teachers job understood i said just say that your classes are like this a good teacher will always publish their classes today and you don't even have to know about somebody with experience of meeting them on media you can assess people right dr tps is known in social media many people contact they all know that's how it is that's because i am coming to media i am also a media person you can see my interviews on radio many tvs asianet when long back 10 minutes of interview which is called the suprabhatam program went for 2 hours the production team was so much involved you know the interviewer so much involved they didn't know the time so it went for 2 hours and they started asia and started a program called aditi because of me shashi kumar was the asia and shashi kumar is a well known i am also a journalist so i know how to do things right so you have inspired many scientists so my question is who inspired you to become a scientist i answered it partially if you look at my life made simple somebody interviewed me there was a code name called zozo yeah so they asked me same question maybe that uh, 16 years back that time i told many people like uh, when i read about uh, newton newton is a great stalwart in front of me when i read bhagavad gita arjuna inspired me to ask questions and krishna to give answers mahatma gandhi and so on but today 
my inspiration is dr t p s today my inspiration is dr t p s you are sir you don't have to take external inspiration every day i ask what do i do so i keep looking at it i edit my own video when i look at it i say oh i should not tap this i should not tap this so i have a big dr t p s in front of me i don't know how many of you have seen a uh, politician's house they'll keep their own big pictures they look at it so i want to be like this correct so you take lessons from many people because i am a mix of men i am also into spirituality i am also into science i am into writing got it so all that together when you listen to shashi tharur or maybe when i gave my book for shashi tharur to read he read everything and then said wonderful no so he becomes a person of expert whom i wanted to become a linguistics like that but then i read a malayalam poetry i have somebody else so it's a mix of everybody so you have to be like an avi in kerala so be the best avi that's what i keep saying so sir when you started off as a scientist you're not like the big tp shashi kumar that you are right now so that time were you ever did you ever get credit for things that you done like when you were not in your highest position uh, see i think nobody gets a credit by somebody giving it you achieve it right who is the king of the forest lion lion did somebody give a uh, crown on top and then did a um, ceremony saying that lion is the king of the forest no huh there is a shloka which says na kriya ho na kriya ho no celebration na samskara ho no program simhasya kriyate evane to make a simha as the king of the forest oh. swayam eva mrugendraja i decided myself i must have fought with everyone you know when my office was not e office e office means no paper paperless office so when space department wanted we all were still filling up the form of leave i used to write everything wrong there i put my employment code 45 name spelling mistake pay scale wrong everything i will write wrong then officer will ask you have written everything wrong so you know what is right right yes. if you know right why are you asking me don't ask me you understood so i used to fight with every fellow but actually i am teaching them then what happened in one year i was made as charge of paperless office in my office no i never signed an attendance we see when you have a camera which says that you are coming inside why in the attendance because your camera is recording when this fellow is coming right i question lot of things that questioning is what made so i don't care whether my job is lost i will get something else when i was in university in calicut university i was thrown out from kerala but then the judge asked why are you not filing a counter i said i have many other jobs why should i waste my time fighting for a job so immediately after that i went to prime minister's office as director for a uh, deputy director for cabinet secretary if i don't get any other job i cling on to that so always i take this option of doing something great so at that level what i did is my great when i was a student of graduation all my classmates are my students because every day i will tell you have any doubt you ask me i'll teach you so what am i doing i'm teaching them right they will go to library take the toughest book find the toughest question and then come back to me you have to be prepared so i said not today tomorrow i'll teach you i'll go to library and ask which book this girl has taken so they will tell you this book get me another copy i will study all that and then teach them tomorrow so how many books i must have read because everybody ask question right i learned that was a challenge leadership was a challenge i never turned back and asked why and when in college itself i used to teach chemistry physics maths my principal himself said you can teach your juniors that's how i learned and masters msc also i did the same thing so most of my classmates still send their children to me for advices that's because they know oh dr tps is here. you can listen to kc vanugopal who is a congress third in command 
when he introduced me he says dr tps was a very different man was by life as a student so make yourself distinct different make your print in your life that is what is to be so which is your unforgettable project that you have uh, done as a scientist there are so many you know rajiv gandhi is a nation who yes. blasted the bomb we were in one of them we, we don't contribute single but i was part of the team you know afghanistan hijacked uh, aircraft to identify where that it was mine you know veerappan yes i gave the map with my hand you know kargil war all the maps were given by me is it not good enough in a life i done many many such projects and when i wanted a activity to happen government of india don't allow fund for building i got building fund i made my own building my style what i want i changed the curtains the style in which is want government will always follow a rule i broke all the rules i have given music for all the workers who are working in the lab those days no multimedia i had to put individual cd and it's called a jukebox multiple cds can be put i can select which song i want i purchased a jukebox and music system for every employee working under me it's all unheard in a government situation right i i take my own initiative push it go to the highest to take a permission do what i want that's what i did so many 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 such projects i have done unforgettable not for me the whole institution it i retired from adrin you can listen adrin dr tps on my youtube you will see how the employer spoke and today in the same office my wife is a director we hardly see people giving send off people talking about somebody else because i don't think people have something to talk about i was the first employee and i had the opportunity to be the first person to start the canteen first person for the recreation club first person for corporate so i know how to build organization so you know want to know where did i learn this it's learned from one of the greatest astrophysics experts in india he has an institute in pune he is an astrophysics man if he was not an indian he would have got nobel prize rajiv gandhi invited him to start an institute and asked which institute to want to become director we will post you there then he said i don't want i want to make an institute by myself so he taught me how to make a institution so it is a physics professor world famous physics person who taught me how to make institutions so i made i was an executive director of one of those schools in kasaragod the building itself is different it's a signature building i was an executive director for an engineering college the campus became so green i was a mba professor in one of the colleges each job what i did my signature will be there that's what i did now maybe if three of you make a different life that's a signature in the school so people come to me get attached to me they become a signature themselves you have worked as director of ugc and director in pm office and my question is which post do you prefer more i told you no i was director for academic staff college then i was thrown out my interest is academics but that's a high powerful position so if you look at power that is great because you can talk to prime minister prime minister comes and you can see my website you can see manmohan singh holding my hand and talking to me right so if i would have been here i will not get it that is every month we have a dinner with him so we see the largest greatest people that's one we need everything i think three requirements for everybody in the world one is learning second one is earning third one is fame so learning wise academic staff college is good because i talk to lot of academicians earning wise that is greater right yes maybe fame wise that is greater to know great people but here i can reach out any college talk to them so at a stretch i will see thousand students right so you know lot of people on the public there you will see only great people on the top their public contact is restricted so i'll not be able to go and talk to anybody if i am in that position when i come here maybe two days early the police would have come here see the security all that they will take care right so position will give you a different stratum 
this will give you a different start both are good for its own purposes so i enjoyed both maybe if you don't enjoy you will always long for that after enjoying you quit the job it's good right that's all so have you ever felt a regret in choosing this profession uh, i told no i i enjoy where i am once i get into a bus i enjoy the bus see once you get into a bus you miss lot of buses right yes have you seen when you get into a bus you see another bus crossing it which is full of free oh i missed i would have gone into that bus it's a natural tendency for everybody this is dr dps philosophy once you miss a bus you get lot of buses once you get into a bus you miss lot of buses which is good yes. we can't say which yes, is sir. good once you get married you lost a lot of chances right but we have to survive in that so life is lot of choices you have to be very careful while choosing the other method is a intelligent person will start loving everything what he gets right so i am more wiser more intelligent i enjoyed wherever i am if the vehicle is not good a road is not good i don't regret i'll still become a good driver i will show my smartness if vehicle is good road is good i don't know driving even the best road is useless even the best car is useless right so which one you want that's what your question is so my answer is i'm a good driver so i enjoy good road i also enjoy bad road understood that's a challenge so when i came to academics in kerala my brother who was already in academics at he has seen my office in hyderabad i got a beautiful place nice clean a lot of people are there to serve us garden is so wonderful right but when you come to calicut university it is so worst place so my brother told don't quit this and come i just why it's so bad i said i got a chance to clean it up after 2 years my brother told oh wonderful what a change how did you do that when i asked to re white wash and they said you have to apply and somebody has to sanction i said how much it cost yeah you were room 20000 i said get it done tomorrow money i will pay i did it then everybody came registrar came all the uh, no pwd engineers said, you cannot do it i said already done you do punishment whatever you want for white washing somebody punishes tomorrow i'll call all the press and then tell this right i cannot sit in this shabby place understood and i went to delhi room was so shabby curtain was so shabby i said how much time i cannot do that there because it's a true indian government lot of restrictions security will not allow workers to come university is not like that i could do that after this experience i went there i said i want the tiles to be changed curtain to be changed washed no no our director is also like that let him suffer but i am not going to suffer i will not sit here i will sit only in library all files can come to library cabin is vacant because it takes time i said tomorrow morning arrange a vehicle all the people who have to sign this let us go for a trip each office we will go get all the signatures personally and the whole thing was done in one month time so after i left the director came and sat there because he couldn't repair his room right so udyame naiva siddhyandi having a desire will not permit you to get something karyani na manorathai keeping in the manas it doesn't happen what is to be done venture action is more important so i believe in action so take yeah so if someone is dreaming of being scientist in isro what would be your message very simple in our time there was no institute called indian institute of space technology my note first note made that institute so you are seeing somebody who created an institute in tirunelveli i was in headquarters working that time kasturi rangan was the chairman madhavan nair was the uh, director for vssc he came and told we have free space before that i gave a report saying that we can start an institute in isro so both together came to, at the right time we started in isro so if you are a student there after plus 1 plus 2 directly you can get an appointment in isro it's that simple okay so it's not very tough and in space department we take geography people we take computer science i'm a mathematician we have statistics people all sort of you want to look at it isro does a recruitment common recruitment isro.gov.in you go there register when there is a common entrance exam you go 
that is at the lowest level but i joined after my phd so what you can do is go to the highest level take a phd then isro will post you in a higher grade okay so study maths physics chemistry maybe chemistry people are required in avssc for polymer science so we have requirements of most of the things mechanical civil electronics electrical all the engineering subjects computer science plenty of them i think every year but i don't know now what will happen i i am not in direct contact for last 13 years but isro is going to for privatization so the chance of getting jobs in isro will become maybe 10 percentage the recruitments are coming down right so you can you can get a lot of private jobs that's possible so as a scientist what was your overall experience i am from a data process image processing the video you know the earth moves the satellite is moving much faster yes sir and the camera is moving person is running it will have lot of blur nothing will be clear and that too 900 km side so nothing will be clear so my job is to make it clear and give a geography google will tell you from here this much distance so that's a satellite image how do you make measurements perfect so both quality and quantity from the image that's a great challenge that was where i started my work it's called photogrammetry image processing many subjects will come into picture that was great challenge learning lot of things what i learned how is it applied so why did i come and talk to students because i know what maths we are learning what physics we are learning in longer term where is it going to be useful i'm sure most of the teachers don't know and they teach they don't know where is it being applied it's not their mistake so as a scientist i thought quit the job come to academics and tell all the teachers so i taught more than a million teachers so what do i teach them you tell me any subject i'll tell you where is it used so i speak to most of the people around the world the other day i was in not only space it's not just because 18 years i served this is a great challenge the other day 3 days back i was in bel bharat electronics limited they manufacture they make many many equipments required for defense they are the people who made the voting machine throughout india ecil and bel so i was talking to my students after their job uh, studies they got job in bel so they most of them are my students whom they know so they called me to tell what they are doing so i learned from my students right so i have got a great experience in space i got another great experience in talking to students tomorrow they become great people in different part of the world i have got students from the world's best universities mit i have students who graduated from mit with the full scholarship not a penny is paid right so they share a lot of experience i never studied in mit but my students are in mit so i get an experience so i talk to lot of people because of what space department has given i told you it's a mix of different subjects that gave me a lot of experience where i get the strength of talking to different people now i use it practically to talk to different people from different parts of the world that's what i do thank you sir for spending your valuable time with us uh, have a great day thank you thank you sir it was a pleasure talking to you thank you wish you all the best enjoy inshallah we'll meet somewhere <laughs> some point of time right yes sir, yes, sir. right Now this is Camera Media Center signing off. Thank you. Very simple. Okay. Which <laughs> one? Suppose there are a lot of people.